There are many ways to stimulate rejuvenation in your skin. One of the most popular techniques is by performing a chemical peel, such as TCA or glycolic. Another option is by using very short needles and rolling them over your skin. There's also light therapy, microdermabrasion, lasers, and what I'm going to demonstrate today, IPL. Now, I'm quite familiar with IPL treatments, otherwise known as intense pulsed light, because Platinum Skincare ran a full service medical spa for almost eight years. And we had a wonderful machine in our facility that we used for photofacials and hair removal. The majority of people that wanted to get our IPL treatments were those that wanted to treat aging skin, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, and of course those wanting hair removal. Generally, about four to six treatments were required to get a good end result. And despite the high cost, it was a very popular procedure due to how well it worked. You may be wondering how much an IPL treatment costs. Well, I double checked with our front desk program and a single photofacial ran about $250. And that was almost eight years ago. I'm sure it's much more now, and depending on your location across the country, it could be even higher. Why so much? Well, that machine we had back in the day was over $65,000, and we had to have a doctor on our facility to use it, along with a highly trained technician to do the actual procedure. Why I'm talking about this today is because I'm about to show you a product that is an IPL you can use in your own home. And as for the price, let's just say that if you went to get two IPL facials right here at Platinum back in the day, you will have just about paid for your unit. And you'll get well over a hundred uses minimum from a single cartridge. So really quick, I want to explain the difference between an IPL and lasers. IPL or intense pulse light is a treatment where a broad spectrum of light is applied to the skin, while a laser will only emit a single wavelength. Having multiple wavelengths can be very beneficial because that gives us more uses from a single unit. All we need to do is filter the light into the spectrum that we need to accomplish our goal. This is done by using separate cartridges. We have one for rejuvenation, one for acne, and one for hair removal. Let's talk about the pluses. IPL can be used on almost all skin colorings except the very blackest skin, which is a Fitzpatrick 6. So if you fall into this group, IPL is not going to be a viable treatment option for you. A big bonus is you don't really need to prep your skin in any way to use an IPL. So it's easy and you can get started right away. You do want to avoid sun exposure for at least 48 hours prior to use and then 24 hours after use. I want to stress here that hopefully you aren't tanning anyways, right? because the number one cause of wrinkles and spotting is UV rays. So use your SPF every day and protect your skin. Let's talk about possible side effects. It is possible that you may get a sunburn reaction on the treated area. This should go away within three days. Dry or itching skin is also possible. Just moisturize to get past this. Very rarely, a skin discoloration could occur. This would be the direct result of using a light intensity that was too high for your skin's color. There is a chart to follow and I recommend you stick to it closely. Pain or irritation during or after treatment. This too would be caused only by using a too high intensity. So always follow the recommendations of the manufacturer. Now here's the main difference between the two machines. With such a price point difference, you are, of course, going to get a lower strength. Our in-house IPL could output 
50 joules. That's the energy that's touching your skin. That's the power. And this at home unit will only do 25 joules. So right off the bat, you know that you will need to do more treatments. And that's okay because your unit will be available any day that you need it. Now let me do a quick demonstration of the unit we have here. I'm going to use the skin rejuvenation cartridge. Its main focuses are sun damage, rosacea, enlarged pores, fine lines, and mild acne. If you were to choose the acne cartridge right here, its main focuses are destroying acne bacteria and the pores of the skin and reducing the blood supply to the sebaceous glands and that aids in reducing sebum production. If you were to choose the hair removal cartridge, obviously its main focus is the destruction of the hair follicle to prevent hair from growing again. Now, step one, read the manual in its entirety. Yes, it's simple to use, but you need to be aware of all treatment schedules and contraindications. Now, on page 10, you'll find one regarding the use of hydroxy acids. Since we manufacture all types of chemical peels, acid serums, toners, and cleansers, I wanted to go over this. Acids will thin the outermost layers of your skin and make you more sensitive to other treatments. If you find that your skin is extremely sensitive from your peels or daily acid use, please discontinue them for about a week and allow your skin to thicken a bit prior to using this treatment. Personally, I didn't have any issues at all and proceeded as normal. Now, step two, find your recommended light intensity. This is on page 14 and 15 of my manual. Match up your skin color and your natural hair color to find the strength that will be best for you. I highly recommend that you follow this carefully. You'll find that the lighter skin types of Fitzpatrick 1 and 2 can use the stronger strengths of 6, 7, and 8. And as your skin gets darker, you will move down in strength. Fitzpatrick 3 is in the 4, 5, 6 levels, Fitzpatrick 4 is in the 3, 4, and 5 levels, and Fitzpatrick 5 is in the 1, 2, and 3 levels. You will also note that it shows those with hair colors of light blonde, red, and white or gray should not use the unit. This is only in regards to hair removal as IPL is attracted to only dark hair in the follicle. It won't work on lighter types. You can still use this for acne and rejuvenation treatments no matter what your hair coloring. Now step three, wash your face and don't apply any products. Step four, insert your cartridge. You can see it will only go in one way. So that makes it easy, whoops, push it in. Now step five, plug in your power cord. I have mine plugged in already, and I'm gonna turn the main power on. You'll probably hear some humming. Okay. Now there's also another power up here, and this is where you choose your settings. Now step six, you're gonna to wanna to put your goggles on at this point. An alternative is to close your eyes at each flash, but we feel that complete protection is best. The ones that are provided are very large. This is predominantly for when you're doing body use. I found that if you want to get closer to the eye area around this area, you're going to need a smaller pair of goggles. And I have confirmed with the manufacturer that a pair of UV tanning bed goggles will be acceptable for use. Yeah, you can't see well, but if it's bright and you're looking in the mirror, you can get an idea of where you are. No matter which you choose, I always recommend close your eyes anyways when you press the flash button for extra safety. Step seven, lift the handpiece, then turn on the front power button. It will not turn on if this handpiece is still sitting there. Lift, turn on your power. Now you can adjust your intensity with the buttons here. Let's press the plus. Okay, now you'll see a green light on your handpiece and you're ready to go.
So I'm gonna just put these big goggles on for a minute just to give you an example. Find a good place on your skin and press the button. It really isn't that bad. Watch. That was it. Now, I wanna mention, there is a little sensor right here. This must be on your skin or the unit will not fire. So on rounded areas of your face, such as your forehead or your nose, make sure that the side is touching, okay? So I'm gonna place it on, press my button, it's ready. Now they want you to remove it for your skin and allow this to cool. In three seconds, hear that beep, it's ready. Try to overlap a little bit on your next area so you don't miss any spots. Now it's ready, next. Now you wait. So now go ahead and do your entire area, be it your face, neck, chest, arms, and hands. As soon as that three seconds, now you can go again. Do it a few more times. Overlap. A little beep, and you're ready. Now just keep going. Go do your entire area. When you're done, turn the power off, remove the cartridge, clean it, and put everything back in its original box for safety. Use care and make sure that you don't wrap your cord too tight. On the back, you can wrap it up. I like to leave it a little bit loose in the box because you don't want to break any of the wires inside the cord. Now, this is going to last you years if you care for it properly. At this point, your face is probably feeling really dry. Rinse it off, pat it gently, and follow up with your favorite regenerative products. Of course, I have some recommendations. Number one will be our Regenerate Epidermal Growth Factor Serum or any of our Dr. Platinum potions. Another great option would be one of the copper serums. And then end with your Retinol Molecular Serum. Now I have a couple of FAQs that I know I'm going to get. Number one, can I do a chemical peel immediately prior or after this treatment? No. We recommend that you don't do any peels or needling during the same week you're doing your IPL. Instead, try alternating weeks to get a well-rounded treatment regimen for your skin. And two, can I do this more times per week? I know you. No. According to the manufacturer, this will not increase efficacy and could possibly lead to skin irritation. Now, I know that you're probably very excited to get started and I can't blame you. It's pretty amazing that you can have this professional treatment to use right in your own home. If you still have questions after watching this video and reading our entire page, just reach out to us. We're here to help. Have a great day.